setting intentions. So what we're gonna do, we'll create a four part series most likely. And within this four part series, we will uh, unravel, unravel potentialities, which we can uh, learn to bring into our lives, which will help um, bring a certain existence within this present now moment. So part one, it's crucial for existence to learn that it is a part of something greater. The reality which we're perceiving is only a perception within this existence. When we interact with the reality which we're living in, we are ultimately looking out within this reality and we're perceiving this reality um, for the only existence that, that may be possible. And this is where we go ultimately um, far very much too into this reality. We go far into it because we believe that this is the only reality to exist. And when we go far into this reality, we get stuck in this reality and we don't have any way to get out, to jump out, to get connect back to our true essence. The true essence is life itself. It's manifestation within life itself. If you look at this reality and you stop for a second and perceive reality in some circumstances, it's not very much, there's no life to it. It's very much encouraged within a mental paradigm. And within this mental paradigm, it's all about the physical world or the physical uh, composure of the reality and its um, structure, which is very much encouraged to follow. This structure we can start to identify as the education system, you know, and within the education system, we're very much programmed to follow an agenda for our lives. This agenda may be going to university, for example, which is absolutely not a negative thing. I'm just putting this in, in, in hindsight, maybe going to university, getting a very good education. And then within that education, within that, um, that space of existence, we're very much encouraged to go after a career. And within that career, we're very much encouraged to then go out and, and set um, potentialities, which are very much focused or driven around success in, a, in an angle, which is only angled towards um, very much focusing on the physical. And the physical being the construct of perception within the physical realm of, of, of surviving this existence. is like, you know, getting somewhere safe to live, putting food on the table, having a potentially, um, potentially um, making our family survive, you know, food, shelter, water, air, you know, we don't even think about air. That's that's part of the problem. But definitely food and shelter is where are we going to live? How are we going to feed our families? And the angle, the perception of um, which we're very much programmed to develop is how are we going to survive in this angle of reality? And and this is only one, one very fragment of existence. It's just the potentialities within that angle of, of surviving the matrix or surviving this perception of reality. And a lot of us, we get so entangled and caught up within this, uh, just this angle of existence is that we often struggle and lose ourselves within this aspect that we actually, when we start to create big imbalances within ourselves, whether that's emotional or just very much emotional imbalances. When we create these emotional imbalances, we actually fall out of this spectrum of um, of possibility, and then we actually come back to our true self, and we start to connect with what feels right. What feels right for me? Because I know if I keep going in this direction, I'm just going to continue feeling lost, anxious, worried, stressed. Um, you know, so ultimately, which we will um, go into in the next three parts of the series. Um, pow.